Hello everyone, it's Peter here, Pet Fistner. Guys, this is a quick video um, for those who starting to work with micro soldering and they've got like HDMI port with PS5 <coughs> and they will, let's say, lose the capacitor or the capacitor will just go off well, when they are doing the process, yes? This here, uh, I will show you, okay? This is the small capacitor that's hung 0.1 microfarads, so that's 100 nanofarads capacitor. I think it's 0201 size, you see, it's such big. You can see how big it is. So you need to have small tweezers to grab it, cutting off, dropping off, and putting it out. Then I'm putting the board, okay? And the board, need to be careful. Now let's adjust the view let's get out of this blurriness more okay and now what it is is you need to hold it well and have your soldering iron ready you see I've got it still here okay it is it's tiny I've got 500 degrees 480 but it's okay you need just holding it yes don't don't do any like a quick moves clean this tip before doing anything if you get black spots on it don't try even doing anything when you get those black spots because you'll say sorry okay so the spot has to be clear now try to grab it with your less skillful hand like my one is a left one okay now let's put it to here and now put try to hold it the way that it will be off and you can grab it yes you have to prepare it first so soldering first if you don't look, I will be doing and nothing. You see, so it's less solder than I should have. And that's bad because that won't hold. So you need to put it aside, okay? Just put it aside somewhere. Save. If you get flux, that's better because you will be able to hold it on the flux. Now come with a solder and add more solder. If you want to add more solder, you will really struggle okay so see that the blob doesn't want to stay if you've got such situation and you can't resolve it that w how i was starting was to either lower the temperature yes lower like do it about 280 or something like that clean this tip really well okay clean this tip really well like scrub it scrub it scrub it I'm using scrub but kitchen scrub but so it's a stainless steel and I it's last you for years to be true you don't need to replace it every so often and then when you get lower temperature yes on on the iron you should be able to pick this solder okay and if you count still look if you still struggle with picking up yes now I've picked up but it's too much Okay, so what you can do is you can help yourself with something and just take it off. If you get lower temp, it will help you out. Now will be sticky here, but you should be able to get partial of it. If you still count, cut it off. See it's big nice blob at this time. Take out the rest on the side. Okay. Now if you get this blob, you need to increase the temperature to at least 420. You can put even maximum. In my case it's 480 degrees. And now you can catch this small thing fella. Yeah, this small friend here. And you just dump it. If you of course won't lose it, because if you're gonna lose it, you won't find it that easily. And I can go grab another one, but oh look, 
this has to be somewhere. Okay, so let me use my less skillful hand again, which is my left hand. Okay, don't get don't don't get stressed too much because it's really nothing to get stressed. It's a practice. Yes, so my left hand is not that skillful. Okay, it's here. So it would be nice to grab it. Oh. See, and it's holding, holding really well. There's no question that it's holding. Now you can turn around the main board if you want, I mean. Depend how comfortable you feel from soldering from the second side. Uh, I got a lot of things here going on, so it's too challenging. Okay, and we can now touch it with the second side. Okay, and that's it, guys. That's it. That's fully attached at this stage. I'm looking for the probe. I had a probe here. Yeah, it is a second probe. That's from voltage injection you see it's not moving on this side it's not moving on this side so it's fine so all it left is measuring if you're not sure guys i'll switch off the iron because that's the whole procedure it's not super pretty and it doesn't have to be super pretty it has to be there and it has to be robust and that's robust believe me so i'll switch the, the webcam view and guys on my website on our website inte.team in the blog section you've got hdmi ports readings in game consoles i'll show you this one okay so let's go to this here let's go to here and let's open a new tab let's go to int.team so we are at the inte.team let us show it yes inte.team you can see here that okay you don't see my mouse now you see inte.team and here we click on the blog there need to be certain uh, things corrected uh, in the HDMI ports because I was using my old meter and I can tell you where is PS5, Xbox One X, PS5. That's the that's the PS5. I'll zoom it in for you, and I can tell you what the differences need to be. Uh, this reading six to four. It shouldn't be. It should be OL. And these readings are about 100, up to 100 wrong as well, so it can be 800 or 799, for instance, yes, here. And this might be slightly off as well, but apart from that, it, it's a good good uh, way of checking uh, which one it is. So what I've done is from the left red probe to the right black probe, and in pins from the left 1 to 0, you've got OL, yes, so open loop and then two to three now so this one is, was black so this one will be now red probe and this one will be right black probe and then you, you've got diode mode of course and you should have these readings if you have these readings then you're fine if you don't then that's mean you know you're you've got some issues now it's good to do it first when you remove the port when you've got this port out check them you know check them and if you know you've got good readings then when you will install the port you expect no difference in readings if you remove the port and you see that there's readings are bad then you know there will be one extra issue it can be issue with an hdmi encoder it can be issue with auto detect or with supplying 5 volts to the um, or 3.3 volts you know depend which which signal it is and um, then then you'll know yes and then even when you will put the port you expect to not have the proper readings but if you will write down the correction of what you've seen before and it's not accurate to what i'm saying then you will know when you will solder the port if you've got those readings you know you've done everything right yes unless you put less solder then you will have those wobbly yes and more difficult more challenging but believe me if you get good practice less than an hour you should be able to do the game console yes um 
or about an hour or le less than an hour I would say yes if you don't because usually I'm talking with other people or replying to the messages of my customers but that's it that's all I wanted to show you small components are you need more practice and you need you can't have the same like my wife bought me this one and I wanted to use it but believe me I can't work it out it's just too big and I can't I can't work with it if this would be bent would be easier yes and then tiny tiny tip here yes that's what tiny tiny tip is this is not so tiny so with this one it's much easier because it's flat surface and you can grab the component like that so just keep it in mind uh, what else I wanted to tell you yes practice more that's what I wanted to tell you practice more so you see for me before that job would take half an hour and I would struggle and I would struggle and I literally couldn't make it there is only one thing what I can give you and as advice it's more time consuming but if you can't get to the lower temp and you can't pick up the solder on your tip what you can do is you can cut off with some sharp blade you know cut off a bit of solder put it on that spot put flux first and then touch with high temperature you know at maximum even and it will suck in to that uh, thing that's that's one of the ways i was doing it before now i'm more you know more practice so i do it much easier yes so i need, don't need to use that technique but it was helping me at the start when i was struggling and believe me it was stressful at the beginning now it's not anymore so as you see you will be fine as well just give it a bash one two three times and then o two o ones o four o twos you know those smaller components o ones i don't believe you will have o ones o twos you will find o fours you will find o six you will find but o six o threes but i don't believe you will go to o ones and uh, that quickly if you go going to do micro soldering sooner, sooner or later you will but i wouldn't worry at this stage about them you're really tiny and working with this is challenging sometimes it's better to not use the tweezers for that sometimes it's just better to use your screwdriver or something else where you can just get the flux and transfer it from uh, to place yes thank you guys for watching if you did like leave us a like button to help this algorithm in my favor and see you in the next video bye bye